Hello, everyone. Welcome back for another episode of The Logcast. We are the League of Ordinary Gentlemen, and today we have... Grayson Cabrera. Joshua Grijalva. Cornell Montgomery. And Stephen Bueno. Well, why'd you go last? Because I'm the shit, that's why. I'm going to see you first, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Where does the damn clock start? <laughs> at 12, you're 12. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 5, damn it. No, your time. Damn, oh, I'm 445. No, no I'm your shit. Exactly. So... Son of a bitch. What is up with everything else right now? Well, like what? I mean, I life, know, liberty, and like pursuit of happiness. Where do we stand on life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness? Go. Nothing. Uh, I, I like life, and liberty is uh, a girl in Degrassi, and, and she got fine when she got older. I Will Smith like was a great movie. actor in that movie. Wait, how old were the people in the grassy? Like, I never knew. Like, they were fucking teenagers when they started, and fucking adults when they ended. Stephen, they literally casted people of the age type. That seems about right. It turns so out she was that ugly Drake was when she started. Paralyzed. Hot as shit when she ended. Oh my god. That. Mm, now was she ugly because she was young, or was she? Yeah, a little bit of both. Man. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, just too afraid to admit it. It's like, well, sometimes puberty doesn't even hit that far in. If you I know, Chris. It. You're still getting uh, that puberty hit. Oh fuck. You talk about the facial hair. He's growing facial hair in his arms. That that's not how. It works that Jesus Christ, that is not how that works. He was trying to explain to his mom was you know, it's not dropping true. into the toilet. You know, it's never <laughs> oh, he, okay. Mom, so, here's a good fuck? topic What's that up? we brought up in the car when we were talking last time. Um, things that you did as a kid that don't necessarily make sense now, like, uh, and let me let me get a good example. Like, Cornell was saying, uh, that when he was a kid, he looked at other little kids, he looked at like girls and be like, Oh, that girl's cute, she's really pretty, and like, I'm really attracted to her. But as you got older, you weren't looking at the same eight year olds and thinking the same thing. <laughs> well, it was essentially, I was thinking, like, Man, I remember my first crush. Her name was Jamie. Man, I thought she was hot when I was a kid. I'm like, well, thinking back on that, do I still feel like she was hot? <laughs> does that make me weird? I mean, no. Does that it make does you? Does I mean, it, it doesn't invoke different feelings. It's like yeah, I well, remember. It's it's the stuff. Well, I, I think the real question is, when she grew up, was she still hot or like did she turn? Oh fuck! Well, I, well, I moved out the area. Wow. She probably has a kid now. Most Multiple. likely. So she white. put out, all right, then. Oh, I don't know. I was in kindergarten. You missed, you missed it's just like every chance. other disaster in the I world. I think the Teen first. Pregnancy always happens. Well, the first crush I remember was uh, when I was in the third grade. I remember this girl named. Oh, I ran into her in high school. Yeah. The girl, <laughs> Janessa. She went there every year. Oh. No, no, no. She, like, she <laughs> left when I was in third grade, which she could have just moved to a school around the block. Yeah. Because <laughs> when you were a kid, it was like, oh, damn, she's not going to the same school. Yeah, it's a school like five blocks that way. I'm not going to fucking. World. You had yeah. to make different friends, and you're like, oh, it's a whole new community. It's the same fucking area. Yeah, and no then duh. you would meet up in middle school, and then you yeah. say, well, it was pointless. And by then, she had, like, two kids. That's the area <laughs> we lived in. That's the area we lived in. And then, still alone then the poison, then depression and disappointment came afterwards. Just I mean, like that, that started before the children. Well, that, that must have been what happened then. Our our home was populated with that. That's true. <laughs> oh, what it's like oh, to live yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, I'm on there. But, uh, no, yeah, yeah, and then that was an interesting... Well, Back to what Cornell was saying. That is really interesting because you don't really think about it. And I think you remember what that person made you feel as opposed to necessarily what that person looked like. Because I don't remember necessarily what my first crush looked like. Well, I can tell you exactly what you looked I have, like. Well, see, that's <laughs> weird. Then, I have really good memory. Yeah. Are you <laughs> it's not like I'm looking back on it and like, yeah. you know what? This is getting me hard as a motherfucker. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, yeah. I had a crush on her when I was in kindergarten. And she was like a really, well, I guess at the time, a really pretty girl. Maybe I just like Michelle Tanner. She reminded yeah. me of her. <laughs> I do not have a photographic memory about this man. He's I do. No, I'm I talking about. Her I'm talking about Steven, not you. <laughs> it's probably. Yeah. Autistic I mean, or I remember the feelings like I had when I was um, <laughs> listening to like, like 80s you know, when glam I was metal. We're <laughs> 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 not that old. <laughs> She's my cherry <laughs> pie. <laughs> a fucking five year old me just sitting down like, yeah, that's good stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> she know what she's doing. She's doing it right there <laughs> with my hair blown out and eyeliner. <laughs> And glitter, because I'm pretty sure I would have gone glitter. <laughs> well, some, I mean, if you're in the fifth grade, <laughs> you're probably playing with glitter anyway. So. <laughs> and some weird, like, bandana with, like, a cowboy hat on. <laughs> I think we're seeing it. Don't take it off. It's probably bald. It was that yeah, she had oh animal cracker God. cookies. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, because she was wild, because she had animal crackers. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. No, I mean, Barnum and Bailey's. Not right. just animal crackers, <laughs> but he had the, the, the little was, clown ones, the frosted ones. <laughs> sprinkles she on them. Oh, you guys, that's fucked up. I never got those as a kid. I only got the, like, regular shits. That's how poor of a neighborhood we lived in. We didn't get the frosted ones, dude. <laughs> how? Because those things are really cheap. And, uncrust <laughs> and Uncrustables, too. That's why you said that's how poor they were. <laughs> no, no, I, think, I don't idea. think Uncrustables, like, popped up until we were in high school. I never ever saw them before. <laughs> yeah, uncrustables weren't popping until we got older? Nah, man. Pretty somebody much, marketed dude. off of that. It's the Smuckers. The Smuckers on Crystals. <laughs> yeah, that's usually lunch. the ones that we got. I would like never eat those school. things. But I'd always fucking throw them away. Yeah, exactly. They're gross. 
Well, because uh, they gave us really the Snuckers, the fucking the peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, dude, they were, they were the shit. I don't like them. Get out of here, Josh. If I would have known you Josh, in high school, I would have taken it from you. Josh, every how was time. it when uh, you grew up? In mother, <laughs> how was Mother Russia when you grew up? Huh? <laughs> she was alright. It's kind of a bitch. You oh. know what? Speaking of like. I guess early morning young desserts. You used to take Christian's gogurt. No. Holy no, shit! I didn't take that him. is I gave it to him. Oh, okay. Oh okay, yeah, no, yeah. You I didn't bully that. him. I think that's how I met you. It wasn't it? Yeah, it's a, it was in sixth him? grade. I didn't fucking bully him. Yeah, bully uh, that was it. Was in sixth grade, and I remember. <laughs> Come here, gogurt monkey. <laughs> I, we just started. <laughs> we just started talking, and then Christian had like his mom would always pack his lunch when he was a little kid. So that's... You know, his parents loved him, and. Um, <laughs> So she would always pack his lunch, and he would always, I guess he didn't like the gogurt. He would just want her to make friends. And he was like, oh, you, you want it? I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, I want the goddamn gogurt. I didn't know what they were. I only saw commercials on, like, Fox Kids. Yeah. And I always thought they'd be the most amazing thing. And yes, yes, they were. They're delicious. All right, eat, eat them frozen. Yes. Nah, they fuck work frozen. as a weapon, too. <laughs> it doubles as a weapon. Your snacks double as batons. <laughs> yeah. Would you let it thought? It's a delicious snack. <laughs> No, but yeah, that's how we met. And yeah. I remember it was like almost an everyday thing, dude. Yeah, because I would always have them in the fridge and then... You well, would be so lonely always, at your house. No. <laughs> and yogurts were your... With his little brother. Building a Not really. It would be me and my brother pretty much all the time. She would like, he yeah. would like get home, pack the box of gogurts and just be like, you're going to make me friends one day. <laughs> oh and then one day it did. He's like, I love you. I love you, gogurt. Blueberry yogurt. <laughs> I think... I, hung, oh. I remember hanging out with just the randomest people when I was a kid. And I think one of them didn't like me too much. <laughs> Still doesn't. Like, well, get out of here. Like, okay. no. <laughs> Christian's like, fucking hate you right now. Oh, I'm still using it, just so you know. Oh, my God. I mean, I guess Christian's cool because he doesn't have to bring Gogurt anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> you can stop doing he's that. Been, creepy. <laughs> he's been accepted. I'll never stop, Nancy. <laughs> That's well, so anyways. You, how did we meet you, by the way? Uh, Well, it's through... Mostly through high school. I know that you guys knew my sister. Oh, I don't yeah, know about I you. Knew the shit your sister. So I knew your brother. I know. Like, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. you knew my brother. We would always get into some shit, sister. and then oh. like your fucking mom would come to the elementary. Hell, I don't know how the hell my brother Josh. I, a lot Seriously. of kids back in the day used to say I should date your sister. I'm, and that's okay with me. I don't. No, care. I didn't want to. And I was like, no. And well, again, I think it's, it's important it's up to the audience. Is your to way of apologizing to me. I don't. I think it's Josh. 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 It was scary. Okay, I'm Dude. sorry then. What the fuck? <laughs> Honestly, is that what you want from me? <laughs> no, Josh. It was scary. <laughs> well, it's, it's important great. to know Aww. that Josh's sister is like a five two, and you're like six something. <laughs> yeah. So I think everyone was like, half. "Oh my god, it's one of those things that you like. It's like a train wreck. You just can't look away." And that's essentially what they wanted to see. It was terrible. <laughs> no, I, I remember all, they would always be like, "Oh my care. god, you guys look so cute together. You guys should get together." And I'm like. I just said hi. What you guys fuck? live in the same apartment. So no, I didn't know you guys lived there. Like for the longest fucking time. So one day I like I'm outside or coming home from school or some shit and I see you, I'm like, You live here? You thought uh, Josh was stalking no, me? I think, fuck, no, what? I think you guys used to live oh, right above me. Yeah, dude. We've been and then in you guys' apartments like our entire goddamn. You were lives. my neighbor twice. Yeah. Yeah. In two different locations. Yeah. In fifteen years span. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm fucking aware. I know exactly every single fucking apartment number I used to live in that fucking place. I'm telling you, at least 20 fucking years of my life in that goddamn place, and it fucking sucked. That sounds like a fucking You know how tragedy. much rent is over there right now? Uh, too fucking much for me to come back. Dude, a, a, a two-bedroom <laughs> over there is $14.75. <laughs> a three-bedroom is $16.25. That's homie. crazy. That's in San Ysidro. Let's make a little note of this. I live in Mexico, <laughs> <laughs> and I used to live in San Ysidro. And for the prices that Cornell is talking about right now, that's why I moved. You get a fucking mansion over there for that yeah. price. I'm Essentially, paying half, I'm paying half the fucking price for a fucking not not a mansion, right? But a nice ass house. That's crazy. Yeah, but you live on top of a big ass fucking hill. Yeah, exactly. You got a cliffside mansion, mansion full. <laughs> you know, I can take a picture. Here's of the another thing I want to talk about. <laughs> my fucking porch. It could have been his deluxe apartment. Oh, in the, sky. the Mexican, the the American perception of TJ, and, just, and I don't mean Mexico. I just mean TJ in general, because I've seen TJ in like uh, TV shows, and it's always like. Don't get me wrong; it's still a seedy place. I'm not. I'm not. No, don't need the shit that goes crap. down. Nothing grows but, there. So seedy. It's <laughs> <laughs> the soil is he's so dead. No, no, but I've always seen like uh, I, and this is one I always, always remember. It's like in the OC. There's an episode where they go to Mexico on a on a school field trip because that's just what white people do, I hey, guess. Cornell. And um, 
They go to Mexico and they go into like some alley and then like the Misha Barton's character takes drugs and passes out. And there's this like heroic scene where he's like carrying her back. I guess he's supposed to be like. And all you hear in the background. He's supposed to be a hero. Don't you forget about me. <laughs> and she's looking back at her drug dealer like, I won't forget you, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like the same thing with Cedro. You Cidro. sold me the good shit. <laughs> uh, in Cedro, there, there's this, um, what's that show called? The Fosters. And then the first episode, the pilot episode. The, it's it takes place in La Jolla, California, which is like the rich area, mm-hmm. uh, La Jolla, San Diego correction. And um, the girl's like, I don't want to be here anymore. God blah damn, blah. I don't like this family. She takes the trolley all the way down to San Isidro, and the first place she goes to is like a liquor store. And, it's, <laughs> and they shoot at her. No, it, okay. The liquor store had one of those glass panels in front of it, where like you know, so you can't get robbed. Yeah. First off, have you ever seen that down here? No. It's, exactly. It's a fucking and then myth. and then they made it look like it was like a, a terrible area. The, the mom was a cop. And so she comes in with like so, the, the father or some shit, and they're like, "Oh no, it was." It was, so it was it they was walk into the neighborhood with SWAT gear. San Isidro, where she gets like she gets off. Yes. Really? So the real question is, what time did she get off? <laughs> <laughs> it was nighttime. <laughs> okay, so that means the trolley might have been running in like fifteen minute intervals. So most likely. Usually, yeah, like after fucking like four o'clock. That's the way how you describe like, that, it's like you would never see that here. You probably you see don't. like one dude with like a broom outside or like a <laughs> baseball bat. Get out of here. Get, get out of my line. Go back to La Jolla. Get, get, yeah, go fucking, get out of my liquor store. They really need to show for Cedro is all the pawn shops that are right there along that little strip. Oh my and God. money oh, exchange places. Cedro? Yeah, it's a ridiculous amount. I don't ever go to the second half of Cedro. It doesn't exist. Little TJ, fuck that. <laughs> With money exchange, it's money exchange place, that one Chinese food joint. Pawn shops. And we're done. Pawn, pawn shops. shops. Yeah, pretty much. In case you want to pawn your shit and then exchange the money and then go back down to Mexico. <laughs> then you go next door. You know what you do? Like you pawn your dreams. That's what you do. Uh, you can't and then you go to the one next door and then you buy something from that pawn shop. <laughs> you buy jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> dreams don't buy you jewelry. <laughs> well, I guess you do. If, That's true. Most likely depending on what type of dreams you're looking for. But Ooh. I don't have jewelry, so I'm fucked either way. Oh, that sucks. What are you talking about? You got plugs. That's not, not jewelry, jewelry motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still a luxury, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> not a luxury. You say you're like ten bucks, motherfucker. All of us at one point all had long hair, right? Yeah. At one point? I mean, now you. Well, yeah, you it. have it now. I mean, you're late to the punch, but I mean, Stephen's second time growing it out. No, Christian, no. I have. Second time. Oh, no, you did? Yeah. Oh, dude, I haven't seen you with long yeah. hair ever. Yeah. Well, well high school. Me, it's been a while since I've grown up. Yeah, I wasn't there. Well, I mean, like. You know, so They've been taking Christian to the groomers. Is it, 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 you notice that <laughs> when you're in high school, it's like every <laughs> face, everybody goes to the face. Fucking bro. <laughs> Christian <laughs> in the bathroom pooping his hair again. Like, oh my god! He's like a shaved down version of Alf. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, How I like that. One. Everybody's like, they grow out their <laughs> hair in high school. That cat they cut it when they go to college, so they can seem like they're professional or whatever. And then you just realize you're just stuck in this predicament. And I'm gonna get that job. Where I can grow my hair out, feel young again. And then you grow it out, and you're like, yeah. And I'm right gone. now it's that phase where beards and long hair or, yeah. or man buns is the thing. Yeah. And, like, every guy's got one. Like, we went bowling last night, and there's a dude that works there, and we would see him all the time because we, we took bowling classes. Mm. And this dude had, like, a big-ass beard, but he didn't have it, like, three months ago. I'm pretty sure he's pulling all the bitches now. And it's funny, too. <laughs> and it's funny, Not too, like, like the whole beard Rogan. beard craze, too. There's um a small little trend that's also happening in Europe. It's called, um uh, was it Merman? Where, yeah, but, yeah, where men beard. actually are dying, like, their all their facial hair. But, like, like their eyebrows, color. everything, bright colors. No, I'm saying the fucking... And it's the weird. That's it's kind of weird because that's when the craze actually started. When after the, all, everyone started going the long hair and everything else, and of course beards, sure. facial hair. You know, sure you know that what that reminds me of though. Hold on, uh, in uh, Game of Thrones, that's what everyone looks like in uh, in we the read, other country, we, not we, in, we, in not in the main area, in but old it, country, <laughs> not in like yeah, pretty much in the <laughs> yeah, old uh, the West Road, in the motherland, yeah, fucking Ukraine, like Essos. <laughs> everyone looks like that. Everyone has dyed beards and dyed clothing or like multicolored clothing, and everyone looks like so fucking out of place. Oh, they're all from District One. <laughs> no man, God! Eating cat food, eating cat food. But I think back oh, to talking about I was talking nine. about with the guy with the man bun. District yeah, one. you were talking about you're, you're, you're talking, talking about, about the Hunger, Hunger Games. Games. I'm, not yeah, talking I'm talking about District. You're talking about aliens. I'm talking about legal aliens. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I think the guy that Cornell was talking about, the guy with the, the man bun or the the beard, right? You said was he getting strikes though? Oh no, he worked there. Oh, how sad. <laughs> <laughs> He was probably striking out with the bitches. <laughs> probably. <laughs> he was a manly man Fuck. with his beard. But yeah, going back open. to the whole thing about the whole hair and everything else. We, we, we've like, been on it, bitch. Like. No, it would, it would, <laughs> I know all of you. <laughs> of course, all of you have long hair right now. I'm the only one that has my short that has Yeah, short but hair. I mean, combined with all your body hair. No, exactly. Reach. But the Shaved thing is, but real shit, dude. Mine grows right here, dude. Like, 
Jesus. But the whole point about people having <laughs> people getting jobs and everything else, I got to trim down. But like, I freaking still had my hair was still growing out when I got my first job. Yeah, too. but it wasn't long, motherfucker. It wasn't. Mine was long. No, 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 no. When you first got the job, it wasn't that long. It wasn't that long. When you worked there, yeah. Well, they were giving you shit though, weren't they? No, they were never giving me shit for about that. Oh no, they're giving me shit about that schools because they felt bad for talking shit to Alf. Come on, no, they didn't give me shit for anything. Like I, I still had my freaking piercing. It was trash metal. Alf still was fine. <laughs> you, know, you guys like more Metallica? <laughs> <laughs> you guys like Demo? <laughs> you guys uh, like Demo? <laughs> uh, well, speaking of talking like that, Steven, you must inform everyone about the story about uh, the girl uh, from SCSU when, when we were younger. Oh, my God. Getting yes. drunk and going to 7-Eleven? Do you like? Oh, okay. Dude, you got to <laughs> So, I don't, actually, I don't know if I've ever told you this story, but um, this there was this girl we met through one of our friends in SDSU, and um, she, was going, she was going to school there. Strong. And I invited her to a party. So as we're going as we're going to the party, oh well, I mean we're at the party and we're having a couple of drinks. I get super fucking trashed, right? So we end up going to the seven eleven nearby. While I'm over there, I remember I bought some chips and I was eating them and sitting down because I was drunk as shit. And then I remember her distinctly going, Yeah, yeah, I puked. Uh and I remember her distinctly asking me, Hey, Steven, uh, the truth will set you free. Do you like black chicks? <laughs> I didn't say anything. I'm just like, Because uh, I knew what she was getting at. She she wasn't and I wasn't in her. And she's like, do you like, do you like fat chicks? <laughs> do you like fat black chicks? And I just remember staring at her and being like, uh, I think we should go back to the party. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a long walk back with her, wasn't it? Oh, oh. yeah. Because I was trying to, well, the thing is, I was trying and to get at her really friend. Winded. I was trying to get at the friend. It was a roommate that hit on me. And I'm like, nah, no, thank you. Like, So you say it's a long walk because she was winded most of the goddamn time. <laughs> 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 she was I mean she was nice I'm not even gonna say she wasn't but no dude she was weird in that uh, I remember one time I went over to her dorm we were just hanging out and um, I remember she this girl the roommate walks in and she's like well I'm just gonna hang out here while the girl I'm there hanging out with is like well you know you can just you can go ahead and take your phone call in the, in the hall or like hey maybe you wanna go out somewhere maybe go to the library or something like that and she's like no I'm good here and in my mind too, I was like, "Nah, nah. How about you fucking leave? Like, <laughs> it'd be a great idea for you to leave." Maybe she was trying to get three way in. Look, dude, I don't know what she was trying to do, and I'm pretty sure that was the goal. But I wasn't having it. Like, she was trying to be that that little strip of that lighter brown in the uh, in that pudding <laughs> oh, cup. God. She was like, "If that dark brown." And the other dark brown and me get in the middle. <laughs> it's like sampling paints. It's like, <laughs> which is going to look better right here. I just, think that one right there in the center would make it just it fine. Like, oh. mm, this swab would be better. <laughs> I might just, yeah, yeah, let's go with dark brown. Yeah. <laughs> nah, dude, I, I didn't, I really didn't talk to her. Uh, it was just really weird every time I went over. Do you guys remember your first yeah. kiss? Yes. Slightly. How old were you guys? Were you kind of. Slightly. 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 It's like 12 or something like that. Or you? I'd say ten. I think I was like nine or ten. Yeah, I was like ten. And the other guy was like fourteen. Not like first <laughs> kiss, first make out. Hey, Uncle session. Joey oh, was about fifteen. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, the other guy must have been fifteen. Probably because my first kiss was my first make out session. Okay. So like, how old were you for your first make out session? Se- oh my god, I can talk session. Is section? Like We've been drinking. Fourteen, fifteen, maybe. I'd say I think it was thirteen. It was thirteen, yeah. Um, I want to say fourteen. Shit moves quick where I come from. No shit. <laughs> are you, are I, dude, you at one, from one, from? one, no, dude, at, but at the one other point, guy must have been, no, I'm fucking <laughs> <with you. laughs> the, um, Just so you know, he's not fucking with you guys. <laughs> the, the phase, like, in my school at one point was, like, everybody's got to make out with somebody at, um, you know, guy and girl, Steven. Don't, don't look at How old was the other guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was uh, in the fifth grade, so it I had to be about principal. 11. And um, I wasn't interested in this chick <laughs> at all. Straight A something. It was actually my friend at the time's like, because everybody started dating each other back in the day, like in, in elementary school. Was she like, do you like black chicks? <laughs> no, she was, my first kiss was a Mexican girl. Her name was Vanessa Macias. Yeah, if you, if you, if, and if you, you listen to this, it was you. And she liked It was you. <laughs> and, uh, well, let's put it this way. Oh, we went so. out. It, the first time I, I kissed or made up with someone, it was like in a crowd of people. And they were all there like, do it, do it, do it. And this is at lunch and the bell rings and uh, everyone's going back. But everyone's just still staying over in the soccer field because we had a big ass fucking playground. It was two schools. That was, um, there were two schools. And then they broke down that barrier and made it one big ass fucking school. Hey, where'd you go to school? Imperial Beach. Oh, okay. And um, so we're there and I'm like, 
I'm not sure I really want to do this. And she's like, oh, gee I can tell she didn't really want to do this. So oh, I go for it. And this girl's giving me all teeth, first of all. It was... I, I I did not enjoy my first <laughs> kiss. Fucking piranha, yo. And it was just like, it's like the first kind of stabbing me with her tongue. But, 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 but. I'm like, oh, I'm not. Um. You're criticizing a fucking ten year old for not knowing how to kiss. Like, what? Kind I of was that? ten too. <laughs> I knew I could do hey, better. Not, <laughs> not everyone's first kiss is magical. Not everyone's not second at all. kiss. Steve, or Christian, like, I was around no like at least fifteen other fifth uh, fifth graders with like this girl who don't Christian know how to kiss like, yeah, stabbing my tongue, yeah. and then afterwards I'm like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah, and then I never, I don't think I've ever talked to her again. Like, and that oh was Cornell's worst breakup. <laughs> okay, well here's then then here's a good question. And that's where what's you? Guys, I got a good story actually. What's you guys' worst? Uh, like, w- what's the worst makeout section session you ever had? Ooh. Worst one I've ever had. I'm trying to. So there's one time where me and Christian. Uh, no, <laughs> you just didn't put out right after. Um, I think the worst one would be kind of like similar to Cornell, but like a couple years back, where it was all teeth and it just felt weird because it's all you kept hearing was just nails kind of clashing together. Ah, uh, and you could feel. Oh. And it just feels. Oh, what weird. the fuck? I never had that. It's just, it's fucking bad. weird. Right. Like, but see, as a kid, it makes sense. Whatever, they don't know you shit. Don't, yeah, yeah. But this is just twenty year old kids not knowing how to fucking make out. Apparently, yeah. And I'm just there, like, what the fuck? This is weird. I don't want to be awkward and like, like you know, pull out of it. You never want to pull out. <laughs> Spitters are quitters. Right. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking weird. It wasn't comfortable. It wasn't good in any way, shape, or form. And it pissed me off to be <laughs> to be quite honest with you guys. It was like your first BJ, the first one I ever got. I was well, like, actually, man, was this actually... was not the business. I mean, I was excited the fact that it was happening, but I was hooked on phonics. As a matter of fact, it was in like your bathroom, dude. Like, oh. I was like thirteen, <laughs> so the other guy was thirteen, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you were letting that happen in your bathroom? Oh my god, that was the first time. I ain't shouldn't say this. On so that. do I put no, it yeah, in my mouth? I'll let it be. Let it be. Apparently, Steven. we're gonna get off of the sex talk right now because it's pretty Steven's much. Bathroom. Look, you took it to the sex. Talk. I was yeah. talking about making out with people. Yes, yeah, so we were talking about your worst makeup. Steven's, sorry, Steven's bathroom is the oral office. So far. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, I'll say I'll say my worst makeout yeah. session, and um, it it was one thing that soured the whole experience because it was great up until that. You started crying. <laughs> no, 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 that 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 actually turned out pretty well. Um, so I remember I was making out with this, I was dating this one girl. And it, this was already in high school. We were dating, and and she wasn't a bad kisser, so we we're making out. But I guess she had a bit of a flu. So as we're making out, the only thing I start feeling is my upper lip start like getting wet, and I'm like, oh, oh son of a bitch. So we're making out, and I pull back, and I just see like a stream just down her oh. nose. And after that, I'm just like. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> you never told me this. <laughs> oh yeah, that happened. That's to me why it was a bad one. You never want to say that. He was like, I'm swapping spit and swapping oh, snot. Oh and it's just God. like, I just I want to be home right now. I want to tell my mom I love her. <laughs> oh There's just so God. many things that I want to think about at the moment. <laughs> and the worst part is that Steven didn't even get vaccinated. No. Yeah, so that guy must have been fourteen. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he got TB the following day. <laughs> And and then I had a cold. God damn it. <laughs> this is so bad. And that's why. Oh, no, well, is that the same girl that made you the half done food? I got another story about that girl. <laughs> no. First, first Christian. Get? Well, uh, let's see. Worst makeout session. I. Th- it was still in high school. I know that for a fact. Me and my mom were at the park. It was with. <laughs> <laughs> she left for like five minutes in this one dude. It was with this one girl. I don't want to mention the name. Wait, Just fucking say it. Christian, Christian, tell me what y'all had. Fine. No, I'm not gonna mention the name. Tell me what your hat. No, phone just to go. No, I actually was dating her during that time, but the fact is, is like, well, it was him. No, <laughs> no, I think I, I think uh, she bit me one time when we were trying to do that, and it was, it was bad. Like, I think she like clamped down. She chomped. Yeah, like, like, she was trying to be sexy, but she's just like, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. it was. <laughs> It was probably like the heat of the Me moment, and it's like, oh, you, probably in her head, it was like, oh, you know, we'll probably spicing things up. If I just chomp down hard on your freaking tongue, I was like, oh my god, did that end it? I was bleeding from the oh tip, no, I was bleeding from the tip of my tongue, which is fine because luckily I was like, oh, like oh, and then uh, it started bleeding a little the bit. Jobs were so good. No, <laughs> but the end result <laughs> was terrible. But <laughs> that's technically would be my bad experience. Uh. I think we all had a couple of bad experiences with girlfriends, but Josh has a great one, which I, I definitely want to get to that one in a bit. But um, 
Are no, you, are you I, was gonna, no, no I was going to go there tonight. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to go there. But it's a great there. fucking oh, story. No, um, fuck that bitch. Hey, you joined, man. This is what happens. No, no. So uh, for me, it was the same girl that like had snot in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> she, she, and, well, let me go back a little bit. So I was hanging out with a friend of mine. We we're going to get food, right? She calls me and she's like, hey, what are you doing? I'm going to go get food. <laughs> and she's like, oh, if you guys come over, I'll cook something for you guys. And I thought that was the cutest thing. I'm like, yeah, dude, this girl's going to cook. And it's so, it's <laughs> such a nice gesture. I'm like really falling for this girl. We go over to her place, right? And then she like, she she gets a can of beans, puts it puts it on the stove, does that, some carne asada, and then uh, heats up some tortillas, and then she uh, she serves up the plate, and the whole time I'm like, oh, this is fucking great. So my buddy sits down across from me, and I sit down on the table, and um, she leaves the room, so we start eating. Well, within the first bite, we notice that the meat isn't fully cooked. <laughs> so he takes he takes one bite, and he looks at me like, the fuck? And he gives me that face like, Dude, what the fuck? And I'm like, shut your mouth and eat. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I didn't know how to fucking tell her, like, hey, baby. Like, it was such a nice gesture that I didn't want to shit on it. So I was just like, uh, yeah, dude, go ahead and eat it. <laughs> how did it feel? <laughs> <laughs> it was such a nice gesture. And then, the hip-hop so he eats it. He eats one. And she made, like, three pieces. And so she eats one, and I'm like... Oh, fuck, I gotta, I gotta be the homie right now. I gotta eat these two. And then I eat the beans, and the tortillas weren't even heated up all the way, and it was just, it was just a cluster fuck of things gone wrong with the That's meal. You can't mess up, is that? Now, no. Now, no. Here. How do you fuck a tortilla up? Well, basically, the same way she fucked up. the meat up. She didn't, put it there. <laughs> yeah. she didn't put it on there long enough. She's like, if I put this on warm and I leave it for a minute, it should be good, right? It's like Imagine the mar- what she would do to cereal. If it would have been chicken, I would have died for it. Like, that's basically what happened. Uh, Regardless of whatever you type of meat it is, you will die. No, no, no. Well, here's, um, here's, here's what happened afterwards. It, is, it didn't end there. So what ended up happening is uh, I'm sitting with her on the couch, and my buddy's sitting there on the other seat. And the whole time I'm like... I got to fart real bad. <laughs> I'm really fucking gassy right now. And it's like, it's, I have to fart so bad, my crotch starts to hurt. <laughs> At least you need to get the meat sweats on top of that, because that would be funnier <laughs> too. I didn't, I didn't have to, I wasn't so, sweating, dude. I just, I was holding it so bad that my crotch hurt, which I thought was really weird. Would that be called like brown balls or something? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know where that was coming from. And then I finally, <laughs> That's where it was going finally, from. I was like, uh, I guess, I guess, you know, we got to go. Oh, so my buddy and I, leave and as soon as the door clicks shut i don't even take five five steps away dude as soon as i hear the door click shut i let one go that's like the longest and loudest and i'm like okay dude we gotta go to your house and he lives close by we go to his place and he's like oh yeah i got shit too so <laughs> he uses his bathroom and i have to use the other one which is adjacent to his mom's room <laughs> oh, like literally like less than five feet yeah. from exactly his mom's door. and i had the worst Excuse fucking me. yes ever dude and you know when you fire it in a toilet seat it just <laughs> augments the sound dude <laughs> so it's like a blow horn <laughs> <laughs> it farts all like this. Oh, oh damn oh, it! Oh, oh, oh. This far was like this far was like it. the atomic drum. No, yeah, <laughs> dude. So I, the whole time, <laughs> 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 the whole time, dude, I was just hoping his mom wouldn't hear me, which I'm pretty sure she did. But she was kind enough to be like, like from that distance, yeah. it's not like this. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that was my worst experience, dude. Oh, I didn't have that rear or anything. It was just like intense amounts of gas. It's was funny it? you threw you threw like the worst experience of like all time. Wait, so like. <laughs> Has anybody else experienced that? Like, you ever had to fart that bad that your balls hurt? Like, no, <laughs> no he's my balls one. didn't hurt. It he's was had like that twice. No, no, no. no, no, no. At, my house at, too. at your house, he farted. Oh, he took farted his balls. His balls. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that, that seems possible because it kind of happens. And like, <laughs> I've never had that happen to me, and I farted well, my balls millions of times. You're not trying hard enough. You've yeah. never farted and tickled your balls. Well, you see, I don't tuck my penis in like you do, man. It's called inversion, fool. You get it right. I mean, would you fuck him? And fuck me real hey, hard. Whoa, that's a little too personal. Yes, no. No, no, no. <laughs> but anyways, no. um, but no, that was yeah, that was the worst one, man. Like I remember, and she was nice, dude. So I never really mentioned it to her. But my buddy never let her go. He's like, "You yeah, bitch was trying to kill us, dude." Like, <laughs> she was one of them psycho girls. So Josh, I heard about the story. Yes. No, I didn't. I just really heard about it right now. What, what? So let's just make it about the worst. A, a new topic. Uh, worst, it just you could just worst, put one of the worst times. Worst breakup. Or Ever? anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking oh, go, for go for it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never had a bad breakup, so I can't. My worst oh, breakup, no, you know, with kids afterwards. Fucking, Not mine. Well, it was hilarious to me, but. So anyways, <laughs> Not according to the state. Uh, <laughs> I was dating this girl all the way from uh, at least the beginning of my senior year in high school. And then 
everything was going fucking sour for me at least. In my my fucking point of view, everything was going fucking sour. So I'd already gone through so many fucking like chances with her, I guess you could say, where I finally just gave up and I was like, fuck it, I don't want to be in a relationship with her anymore. Mm. So the worst part about it is I technically technically broke up with her over phone. Which is, oh. sounds like a real... Yeah, right? I know that. What a piece of shit. Like, what a real piece of shit, the, John. You gotta understand. You was a teenager, too. N- well, it wasn't that. I knew okay. that was a piece of shit move. Don't yeah, get me wrong. I know. But this girl was the worst. She was the fucking worst. She would say that she would, like, try to fucking, like, kill herself just to oh, get me to, like, not hang out with any of my friends. Oh, you see, you see what day. I fucking mean? Today is the day, John. I know exactly what you mean, too, so, but I don't want to say anything. Christian was that girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> So how old was the other no, guy? No, no. <laughs> uh, 17. Yeah, but, um, so, anyway, there was just shit like that that would just Oof. kind of, like, not on the carpet, that would piss me yeah. off, and I would just feel really horrible with her, so I was like, fuck, like, I'm, I'm not happy in this. She like, would guilt trip you into hanging out. Exactly. And it was oh, fucking, man. it's a horrible fucking feeling, especially for eight fucking months. Eight months of this shit, I put up with it. Damn. So anyways, you didn't know any better because you were 17. Forever. Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, she was 18. Woo! <laughs> 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 nice. I like it. She yeah. like it ripe. Um, <laughs> so, so anyways, uh, I break up with her. I was supposed to go to her friend's party with her, but instead I ended up going to my niece's birthday party. You know, seems like the reasonable thing to do. fucking family. Like. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't originally. I was, I was going to get really shit-faced over there. But I wasn't going to go to the same place she was at and then have to deal with her bullshit. So I just went to my niece's party. So anyways, I end up coming back home, uh, not wasted, sadly. And she ends up showing up to my fucking porch at five in the fucking morning. I am not a morning person by any fucking means. <laughs> any fucking means. Waking up today was a pain in the ass. <laughs> right? I woke up that had to be up at 12 a.m. No, I woke yeah. up. Bullshit, at, he got in at 5.30, dude. Like, and I woke up at fucking six to go to band practice at nine. Uh, Ain't that some bullshit. Ain't that some bullshit. But anyway. <laughs> right. There you go. So I'm not a morning person at all. So she shows up at my fucking doorstep at like five in the morning and she's just there. She doesn't call me. She doesn't like do anything. She's just there. And my mom leaves for work around that same fucking time. So I get a phone call from my mom saying, hey, do you know that she's over here on the uh, at the at the bottom of the stairs? Like, you should probably go talk to her. I don't know what she wants. I was like, God damn it. Like, well, I know what she wants. She oh, wants she, she's camping out. That's what she does. <laughs> Uh, is she sending any explosives? It's like Black, <laughs> and, uh, it's like Black Friday at your house. <laughs> <laughs> Black Friday stuff. Um, so On anyways, that dick. I, I'm already pretty fucking grumpy from waking up at five in the morning for no fucking reason. Well, mm. it was kind of a reason. But <laughs> I go outside and I'm just over her shit. I, I really just don't give a shit. She comes up to me. She's like, we need to talk about what's going on. I was like, no, I told you already. I'm done with you. I don't want to be with you anymore. This isn't going anywhere. If you don't trust me, you know, whatever. It's blah, 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 whatever. So, anyways, my friend Ian had gone to that same party that she was at, and he got really shit-faced. He couldn't go back to his parents' house because, you know, he was, like, 18 at the fucking time. He ended up spending the night at my house. He comes out for his cigarette as this girl is literally on her knees begging me to take her back. On her fucking knees. I'm not saying, like, she was like, come on, baby, take her back. You can see my face while we're at. Right Literally now, on her fucking up. knees, <laughs> oh man, begging me to take her back, and I told her like, you know, like get up, like this is really sad, like you shouldn't be doing this, this this isn't fucking worth. Am I really that fucking worth it? You got to fucking beg for me on your knees, so. Girl, yeah. you worth it. So <laughs> that answer is that answer is yes. So, it was before the song though. At least you didn't. She hold didn't like know a, yet. At least you didn't hold up like a boombox playing like Peter Gabriel. No, <laughs> you like a Peter Gabriel. That's not Peter Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been like an iPod or something. <laughs> but anyways, Say anything. iPod doc. So as this girl's on her knees begging me to take her back, my friend Ian walks out from the fucking screen door with a cigarette in his mouth, and he kind of looks around and he sees us just on the porch, <laughs> and he looks he's like, "Oh fuck, is this a bad time?" Like. Uh, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, my bad. He just walks back inside and he goes to sleep for a little bit. I was like, dude, don't worry. Like, I'll let you know. You can come back out for a smoke. So this girl's still begging me to take her back. And I just pretty much keep shooting her down all the goddamn time. So eventually she finally gets it. Like, it's not going to happen. But she tries one last final attempt. Like, oh, well, can you at least give me one last kiss? Like, no. It's cheesy as fuck. I know how this sounds, but this honestly fucking happened. So... She goes in for the kiss, and I move away, because I was like, the fuck, like, this is stupid. And she's like, oh, I guess that means you didn't love me. I was like, well, I guess so. If that's, if that's <laughs> I guess I didn't fucking love you. I'm sorry. 
So I go back inside the house, and Ian's there, and he's like, oh, can I finally go outside? I was like, yeah, dude. And I hear a fucking crash. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell's going on? So I didn't really think much of it. She comes back upstairs. She knocks on my door, and she asks me for a bag of ice because she fell down the stairs. Not only that, my oh. downstairs neighbor heard it, and he was laughing his ass off. <laughs> Did she and fall down or she jumped down? I, I would have fucking known. Like, I wasn't looking for all that. And he went inside, too. For no, all I on. know, she She's threw herself down. <laughs> I think we're missing the point of the story, and that is that Josh got bitches tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, your lover's not in Ohio, man. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so she fell down the stairs, she came back up, asked me for ice. I gave her a bag of ice, and I just kind of, like, threw it at her, and I shut the door. And Ian's like, can I finally go outside for a cigarette? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't really give a shit. Ian tonight. comes out, and first thing he plays is, love her, <laughs> love stinks, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? So, more of the story is, bitches be tripping, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> now d- d- does anyone have any advice for anybody that you feel like is in that situation? In uh, Josh's don't, position, don't date crazy bitches. Honestly, well, how do you, you don't know they're crazy well, from the exactly, beginning? Exactly, that's true. I mean, some of us sometimes have an indication. Well, no, well that's you. Well, no, see, no, you like crazy bitches. I learned, like, honestly, like I've been in that kind of close to your situation. Well, yeah, she bit your tongue off, right? What's up? No, well, that's different. <laughs> that's different. No, I want you inside of me. I, 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 I. <laughs> He's like I've, like I've had I've had, a, I've had I've had an ex. <laughs> well, I've had an ex actually. Like, oh my god, I've actually had an ex call me crying one time, and I was like, oh man, like. I settled the situation and, and said, like, no, we can still keep going at the relationship. Yeah, no. Like, honestly. Chris, you just to told people, her what she wanted to hear. What's up? <laughs> Stop crying, bitch. I know. I, I did. But the thing is, that was the reasonable thing that I thought was necessary. But later How old on. Were you? It, but did up? you break How up with you? her? She broke up with me. <laughs> what? So you. No, so no, 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 dude. No, I know. No, I know. Like, I know. You were Hold on. I know. Shit. Yeah. That's, that was my fault, though. Fucking because honestly, I should have broken off from the beginning. Because if it was going to be trouble regardless, like if you know, you knew she was trouble when she walked in. Exactly. (laughs) Well, if you think about it, the best advice now is if you know it's going to be hard ground. If you know it's going to be trouble, she goes crying within the first week. Trouble. It's on the first week. Now, if you know it's going to be trouble within the first week, just call it off. Don't even continue with it. Trouble. It's worse. Like honestly. Or else then they're going to be... There's going to be... How many months of crying was it for you? What's up? How many months of crying? Zero. Bullshit. Bullshit. Zero. <laughs> nah, I didn't cry at all. I mean... Like, I kind of saw... I saw it coming. But at the same time, I was like, I should have been the first one to do it. But we all got those male friends that like to cry. And I'm not saying... <laughs> oh! That, no, no, no. Hold on. No, no, no. Before I even go hold into on. a conversation, I do want to say that, look, sometimes is excuse... Like, you, you're in a relationship... I'm not saying men shouldn't cry. I'm just saying this dude didn't have as much of a reason as he thought to cry. <laughs> so, regardless, though. Wait, wait, before before I even get into the story, I just want to mention that we actually do have two friends with us in the room that will be on a separate episode that we're gonna make. So if you guys see us like signaling off camera and whatnot, that's because uh, yeah, it's because we got some friends. Uh, like oh, we have an audience. We have an audience. We have an audience for today, but they'll they'll be they'll audience be on the two, they'll be on episode two, which we'll be releasing the following week. But for now, they're just going to be... Uh, <coughs> this technically be episode two. Shut no, 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 for up, the Chris. next one, I'm saying. Okay. God damn it, Elf. <laughs> well, uh, you guys like... Uh, <laughs> Here you, guys. you guys like Metallica? <laughs> <laughs> Thrash Metal Elf. You guys like a flock of seagulls? <laughs> you guys like a flock of seagulls? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So so continue. I'm not saying that guys shouldn't cry, but I'm just saying this guy cried all the time. <laughs> so uh, it's a friend of ours. That, you know, we're just not going to say his name because his name's Kiki. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, he is the uh, album art for the first episode. Oh, man. <laughs> the guy with, you, like, you fucking, <laughs> that was dyslexic. And autistic. Oh man, we got so many stories of this guy. Yes. Fucking love him to death because he's got he's got tough skin because we make a lot of fun of him. I don't love him. But in uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. But it's all it's all in good fun. We love yeah, him though. Um, so sorry, Kiki. This guy, right. I've seen him cry over breaking up with a girl several <laughs> fucking times, and it's it's one of those things where like, dude, you you kind of had it coming because he called us once. He was like, yeah, man, I just I like broke up with her, and he called us to like. Pick him, pick him up and up. go hang out. But when we picked him up to go hang out, he was still sobbing, so it was really weird for us. I gave him a pass, though. I'm He's like, like what's up, guys? And I was just like, uh, I'm just going to sit next to you and not say anything. <laughs> yeah, I realized that was the most, that awkward, bitch will never that was the most awkward, like, actual cry. You because I was, almost, it was, I was the one who was driving, too. You think, uh, no, actually, if you would have taken No, I think that time it was Andy. 
Was it? That time it was okay, Andy. That time, okay, that time, okay. titty bar, he probably would have cried more. <laughs> oh God. In love. My ex girlfriend <laughs> oh, had. I'm in love with a stripper. <laughs> Why is she going off with that guy? <laughs> fucking him in the hotel room. <laughs> oh. That's your goddamn job. I love you, Crystal. Crystal. <laughs> like I love champagne. you, Mirage. Mirage. <laughs> Oasis, you're my baby. No, but yeah, uh, so there was that time. There was that time. But I think the best fucking time, and this was. Be- I was being an asshole because I was already drunk, okay? So we go to a party, and he dresses up for the party, and he tells us that his family took family pictures, and that's why he was so dressed up. Which is bullshit. Yeah, it was really bullshit. Oh. Josh, I believe you were at that party. Which one? Was it the New Year's uh, Eve Yeah, it was New Year's Eve. <laughs> and were you there? Yeah, it was so there. he tries. Yeah, so and you punched in in the nuts. But a lot. Oh, my yeah, God. Well, yeah, well, we're going we're gonna yeah, to talk, talk about this whole part. party then. Mm-hmm. Um... So basically what ends up happening is he goes to that party to impress his girl dressed all nice. Now, because I'm an asshole, I was like, <laughs> I stopped every, be, when we were doing like a toast or something at the party. I stopped everyone. I was like, everyone, everyone. Does anybody else think Christian's mom dresses him funny? Kiki's mom. <laughs> no, Kiki's mom. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Kiki's mom dresses him funny. Every reminding me of a bitch. <laughs> you bitch too. Fuck it. <laughs> 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 and then he's like, fuck you. And that's all he says. So he tries, he tries hooking up with a girl and he tells her like, hey, you know, I'm really into you. And she's like, Hey, I'm no. I'm not I'm not <laughs> interested. Maybe we should just be friends. I'm sorry if I led you on. She was real nice about it. So he decides that it it, it was a good idea for him to go to the front door of the house of the party we're at and fucking cry his eyes out. And then she found out and was crying her eyes out. That I didn't know. Nor did yeah, I care. Mm-hmm. Here, no, no, no. I'm just saying it, oh. it turned from like one small thing <laughs> yeah. to a big fucking so deal. Well, it, that, it, but it gets better. So watch. So I think Cornell ends up telling me that this is happening. And because Sorry, I'm Kiki. drunk, I'm like, oh, no, that's too funny. So I go over to where he's at. And I just look at him like, ah! Point and laughing. Point and, laughing. <laughs> and I'm pointing and laughing repeatedly, too. I'm not even trying to hide it or anything. I'm like, hey, everybody, Cookie's crying. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, With that laugh, that's Steven's drunk laugh. Yes, that is, that is my drunk that laugh. That is a signature laugh. And then, um, and then the girl ends up hooking up with her boyfriend that same day. The same boyfriend that she's been with for the last like two years or three years. No, no Steven has been about five, five years. years. Jesus Christ, I'm older it's than that. It's been a long time. Yeah. The yeah. same boyfriend that she's had for the last five years yeah. was that same guy that she hooked up with that night. That's, that's funny. love. That, that is, is the love. opposite situation of a that romantic comedy. <laughs> oh my god! And then on that girl's <laughs> the birthday, guy doesn't get <laughs> like what? a couple years later, if not a year later, I remember going to her birthday party, and um, her group of friends like they just they don't hang out for a long time. Then mm. they see each other like, oh my god, I'm see you forever. We should do this, blah blah, and I cry over it. Right? I cry over it. And um, <laughs> that party I went I to, really like cry. I was just hanging out. And I'm like, man, these girls are just crying over everything. Oh my god, you're my best friend. Why'd you hang out? Oh no! And then the mom comes home. The and potato she's like, What's salad going is on? too good. Oh, paprika, that paprika. Oh, you got bacon bits. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> bacon, 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 bacon. It's bacon. It just shows like this small amount. Something that's very pizza. small, oh, and significant. God, I an emotional distress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. sorry for everybody listening with headphones. Yeah, I know, right? Exactly. It's my bad. But uh, no, there's more stories from that party where Kiki was crying. No. Uh, I stabbed the shit out of a seat. Oh like, yeah, we totally ruined chair? someone's lawn furniture because we were. All, all this really happens when we're drunk because we get mischievous. Yeah, okay. We don't get violent. We're we're very uh, giddy and mischievous. Never. He got violent. Apparently, <laughs> he stabbed the. <laughs> I chair. didn't get violent. Okay, th- look, your friend came already fucking plastered, and then he was extra plastered. No, no, no. Let's wait, wait, correction. Let's- we both tell the whole story. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Josh, tell your story and then we'll add on what we did. Yes. Okay, so that was a very awesome New Year's, just so you guys know. I thought it was the greatest fucking New Year's ever. I hadn't topped it ever since. So we started off by going to a friend's house pretty much in that same area by where like the Mama Mia's pizza is at and everything. So we end up drinking a fucking bottle of brandy, a fucking huge ass bottle of like E and J brandy. Just by ourselves. There's oh, no chase. As ratchet as they are. Just fucking chugging that shit. So we get really shit faced, as you can tell, as we're going to show up later. And uh, we're at my friend's party, and they're just pouring shots after shots after shots. I have no fucking idea how anything happened that night. There's just stories from what I've been told, and I've been able to piece together. So, anyways. So the other guy was like 15. <laughs> <laughs> No, Steven, he was 17 at this point, all right? <laughs> it was two years back. <laughs> so, anyways, we get really, really shit-faced to the point where we're out on the street, and 
Ian was there, you know, the guy that was trying to get a cigarette out while I was breaking up with my girl for the <laughs> second time, even though technically I already did. But he ends up challenging himself to us, you know, doing like, hey, dude, I bet I can do this. And he said that he can kick the side mirrors off these fucking cars that are on the street. <laughs> what a oh, piece of shit. shit. I know, that's an right? asshole move, dude. Wow. <laughs> so he ends up fucking kicking the, the side view mirrors off. <laughs> He's really shit faced, by the way, and uh, so we end up leaving that party. And I remember that Eden had told us, "Hey, we're doing something at my house. You guys should come through, but don't bring Isma around. Nobody wants to bring him around." <laughs> so sure enough, we get dropped off at my house. We're like, "Fuck it, let's go to that party. It's still going on." So we show up, really shit faced, with several shots, several fucking beers later, and we walk into what is. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it was dying at that point, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was already coming down. See? So I was already pretty shit-faced, and Ian was pretty shit-faced to the point where he couldn't function anymore, which is awesome. And we started drinking was uh, that, that vodka one of you guys brought. Yeah. I, I don't know who brought it. And that pretty much sent us over the edge. Now, the thing is that Ian at that point didn't really know his uh, limits. So <clears throat> eventually he ended up blacking out and he blacked out on the fucking kitchen table. <laughs> now, Legs open. Legs this, open. Is, this is the part that I don't remember watching, but it makes sense, is that Cornell pretty much ended up punching him in the nuts well, repeatedly. See, this, this, is the, this is our part of the story right now. <laughs> and I remember we were wrapping up the party, and I got to say someone else's story before I can say his. So the, the mom... Ends up showing up at the house, and she was cool with it. She knew there was gonna be a party, and I have pictures. So she gets, oh yeah, you do. She I'm gets there, wow. and we're trying to I'm take this one girl out of the house because she's already kind of. Oh sauced. my god, she flips the fuck out, and then she's like at the doorway finally, and also she's like, ah! she, we're carrying her. She's like, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, and going we don't on? know what's going on, dude. We just know she's yelling at the top of her lungs, freaking oh out for no reason. That happened twice that night. Yeah, and then she does it again god when we're trying to get in the car. <laughs> Jesus she didn't want Christ. to go in the backseat of the car because she was flipping out. And uh, so she's losing her shit. The mom gets there, sees that. And then she sees Ian, who was on the kitchen table <laughs> or on the dining room table. <laughs> He's sitting on there. And at first, you guys have him up. And then you guys let him drop on the table. So as you guys are going to pick him up, Cornell decides, I'm going to punch him one time in the nuts. And he sticks his hand between two between, people. Between Sam and, El, uh, and uh, somebody else. Is Probably Josh. Weird? Well, Probably. I don't I, know. Because I, I don't remember that, that small detail of dropping him on the fucking table once. <laughs> I so don't Cornell's, remember at all. Well, Cornell sticks his hand between you guys, punches him once in the nuts, and then he's like, he didn't react. He comes up. I remember you telling me that. Dude, he didn't even feel it. <laughs> so and he's drunk, too. So he puts his hand again and just fucking goes to town, jackhammer his nuts, dude. <laughs> in hindsight, I feel like an asshole. But <laughs> at the time, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> And you were plastered too, so I made it worse. Oh, I wasn't that drunk. Now, bro. Continue, <laughs> By that time, I, I had already stopped drinking for a while. Continuing after the nut but punching I, story is when we got Ian outside, and that's pretty much when he blacked out. Because I remember he out. passed out on the on the fucking <laughs> from bench. the pain. <laughs> <laughs> he, he passed out on the bench that was outside on the porch. Pretty high tolerance. I'm sure, you guys remember this. Yeah. And Eden's mom or somebody told us to bring him in. And that's when I was there by myself because you guys were off doing whatever the fuck you guys were doing. And this is what I remember is that I remember bringing him in shoulder to hand and everything, trying to guide him into the bathroom. And he ends up dropping all of his fucking weight in the middle of the living room floor. The funniest part about this is he's just on the floor kind of like planking and shit, like just lifeless and just vomit starts coming out the side <laughs> of his face. And he's just like... <laughs> 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 And he has, like, his cheek is just filled with fucking vomit. <laughs> and I'm there feeling responsible for him because I'm the one that brought him. And sure enough, I pick him up. He's just face full with, like, vomit. And he's like, dude, I need to use the bathroom. I, 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 can't, I can't walk by myself. I'm like, all right, dude, like, let's, let's go to the bathroom. So we get to the bathroom, and I kind of try to, like, push him in there by himself. He says, I can't walk by myself. Oh, my God. He needs help. Who's the only guy that's going to help him? Uh, me. <laughs> and that was bullshit because I pretty much had to do everything for him except pee. <laughs> oh. Mine is pulling the dick out, just so you guys know. This, okay. this is like a Bam Margera, <laughs> but it was pretty damn, Knoxville situation. It was pretty yeah. damn close because he was like, dude, I need you to unzip before we do. Like, I can't do it. Like, Oh, my God. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> 
So it's the blind leading the blind at this point because I was really shit faced. <laughs> <laughs> I was really shit faced. I I wasn't able to do anything. So then we come out of the bathroom. I on my other phone. I remember we had a picture of us where we kind of selfied it. But he's taking a piss. <laughs> 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 he's taking a piss and he's just kind of like you see his eyes is like the lights are on but nobody's home like <laughs> it's like you know he's just kind of doing that face and we come outside and that's when we realize that Eden's mom was home so at that point Ian kind of wakes up and he puts his arm around Eden's mom and he keeps telling me that he wants to do things with her <laughs> oh <laughs> shit <laughs> And I pretty much had to tell like, no, dude, like that's not gonna happen. Like, oh no, like God. stop. Don't, don't even think about it. I don't care. It's not gonna happen. Look, that happens to the best of us. Okay, like. Oh, all right, cause with her. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I've got. That does. So, finishing up the story, uh, we ended up getting a ride from one of our friends that was at the party, which was Alondra, and my girlfriend now. She is. Lucky bitch. Um, <laughs> So, <laughs> we live about a block and a half away. We literally could have walked home. We yeah, could have cartwheeled home. We well, were we were pretty shit faced. There's no way in hell we were walking <laughs> home. We ended up. We would. We would have ended up where the fucking chickens and all that shit. They, they all crow. Yeah. Would have been fucked. So, anyways, she ends up giving us a ride, and she makes a comment about calling Ian like a bitch or something. She calls him gay, whatever. He takes it really personally because Ian was really homophobic at that point, and he didn't like any sort of contact with gay people or anything like that. So he ends up getting really angry and starts punching the roof of the car, saying, I'm not a faggot, I'm not this, I'm not that, take it back. And me, Alondra, and Natalie, who was in the car as well, we started telling Ian, like, calm down, like, she was kidding, you know, that's not what she said. She didn't even say that. He's like, I'm not a fucking faggot, fuck you. I'm not a faggot. Just punching the roof of the car with all of his fucking might. We get to the the parking lot of my apartment, and we get him out, and he starts punching the car <laughs> in his rage Jesus. for just being called, like, a girl or something like that. And my dad's looking out through the window into the parking lot, and I'm trying to keep him shush. It's really fucking hard because I'm drunk as fuck. And sure enough, we end up getting to, the to like, the bottom of the stairs, and he starts getting real, like, emotional. And he starts telling me, like, I just want to fucking die, dude. Just fucking <laughs> <kill me>. <laughs> <laughs> this is where your girl fell, right? Wow. I'm going to do it too. Dude, just fucking kill me. And I'm like, nah, dude, like, I'm not going to kill you. Like, what the fuck? Like, you're stupid. <laughs> just fucking kill me, dude. Like, oh don't fucking God. kill me. He starts crying. And I'm like, God damn it. Like, I really have to take him up the stairs <laughs> by myself. This puto's probably, like, going to puke or something. Like, I don't know. And so I end up getting him up into my fucking apartment and he ends up going to the bathroom for like the next two hours. So this is around what, like three, four in the morning, maybe just about. Yeah. For two fucking hours. He was puking Ugh. two motherfucking hours. Again, I'm not a morning person. <laughs> and this <laughs> Five o'clock and your girlfriend's downstairs right now. <laughs> and now I got one of my best friends puking his fucking eyes out for two fucking hours. Dry heaving most of the goddamn time puking. I wake up the next day and I walk into a small little puddle of puke. <laughs> Guess who had to clean it up? At least it was a small one. I say small, but it's probably a lot. It probably filled up the whole bathroom, most likely. You know, it's I'm a small ass fucking bathroom. You know this. I know. I have uh, pain. Now, now, when I was saying that sometimes you end up hitting on the host mom, <sighs> like that happens, man. So uh, mm -hmm. we used to we used to hang out with this group of girls, right? Yes. Uh, and not the best looking ones. I'm sorry if y'all y'all hear this, <laughs> but they were, they were the shit, dude. I, I love. Oh, hell them. yeah! I party with them any day. Yeah, I'll um, take y'all on. One of them. It's funny. Yeah, they're Credit well, that one too. Kiki they're, falls they're in love fun. with everyone. Yeah, Either way, they're fun. <laughs> so we're at, we end up hanging out with them, right? And um. I'm we're getting drunk, we're drinking, and the mom was there, and she would drink with us too. She she was uh she was pretty cool, and you know she was an older lady, and I would get there and we would have a couple of drinks, and I would I would talk with her. Oh my god! And then I remember one of the last times we went to a party there, I, I was uh it was at the end of the night, and I was having a couple of drinks, and I just remember the last the last thing I thought was, well her mom doesn't look too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That is the last thing I remember before I woke up on the Lazy Boy and her dad was having a cup of coffee in the living room. <laughs> so I heard you wanted to oh, hit no, him, She son. was on the dining room table having a cup of coffee and I looked back at him like, uh. <laughs> I know what you were up to last <laughs> night, boy. <laughs> Trying to bang my wife. Was, I didn't hit the banger. Was that the 4th of July one? I don't know, dude. It was one of them and I was just a little too drunk. And oh my God. I'm pretty sure I hit on her, dude. Like, I don't even know. 
It happens, man. So happens. she's single now. It does. <laughs> no, I think she's still with her husband. But I think at this point, we are at the uh, final straw of the uh, podcast for the night. Yeah. Uh, hitting on moms is a great way to end it. Yeah, I think uh, hitting on moms while you're drunk at parties is the definite best way to end it. <laughs> Now, um, because you know they're financially secure. Look, no, nah, she, she was not, not always. I don't know about that one. She, <laughs> you guys are sexist, and I don't like this. <laughs> no, she didn't have a job, sexism. dude. She <laughs> didn't have a job. Like, well, that's bullshit. Well, either way, but I think she was codependent. So, <laughs> yeah, dude, let us know in the comments if, um, if you guys have ever hit on anyone's mom while you're at a party. I would actually really like to know these stories. And also, any of your saddest, uh, like, drunk stories. We like don't want to hear the saddest. One yeah. of the best drunk stories. Or the whatever's your the best one. best drunk stories. Please. Drunk stories talk. and hitting on moms. We want to hear more about it from all you guys. Oh, man, if I had more time. And tell your friends. <laughs> so, uh, more yeah, time. go ahead and tell your friends. This is barely the second episode, and we'd like to pick up some traction. Um, we'll, we're gonna keep a kind of a revolving cast of people. Like we just want to bring a lot of our friends on, yeah. and uh, hopefully soon we'll start making more videos and more things that you guys can watch. And hopefully we get sponsored by Lay's. Dude, by Lay's. I would yeah. fucking love it, dude. Really I'm working it. on my second heart attack or Starbucks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, take it easy, everyone. Good night. Love you.